Recall timings are tricky for most of us. How and when do you recall to avoid losing whole minion waves to tower? How do you judge whether or not your laner will be back before you can shove in the wave so you can actually get a decent recall? How do you play the lane so that you're not forced to recall at a bad time because you ran low on health or mana? And forget trying to plan all this waves in advance to get an ideal recall, it's just too mentally taxing to pile that on top of all the last hitting, trading, jungle tracking, and minimap watching you have to do. But what if instead of having to use all this brain power, you could simply aim for the same perfect recall timing, one that's potentially waiting for you in every game? 5 minutes, 8 waves, 1300 gold. This is the most perfect recall you can ever hope to achieve. That's all you really need to know, but if you keep watching I will unravel the inner workings of this recall timing for you in full. Within the first 8 waves, there are 50 minions. Here's the math showing this works out to around 1400 gold should you get every single last hit. The best early component spikes for most champions are all beneath this value. BF Sword is 1300, so is Lost Chapter. Phage is even less at 1250. Some champions don't even build these, their components are cheaper. But that doesn't devalue this strategy for those champions. The more gold you have, the more options, and the more leeway. You can get tier and boots, or tier and amplifying tome, tier and longsword, hextech revolver, refill pot, control ward. And because the most expensive early components are cheaper by about 100 gold than the maximum gold you get off the perfect recall, that means you can get away with missing quite a few minions and still have enough to afford your desired components. So long as I haven't missed any cannon minions, I know I'll have enough gold for a lost chapter with only 43 or 44 out of 50 CS in these first 8 waves. If I do miss a cannon minion, then I'll have to get about 45 out of 50. But even if you recall and are just barely off the target gold, say you have like 1270 or something, not all may be lost just yet. If you have potions or biscuits still available from your first purchase or runes, respectively, you can sell those to afford your BF sword or lost chapter. Still, I know some of you may be hearing these numbers being like, Man, sometimes I don't even reach 35 CS at the 5 minute mark. This is unrealistic. I will concede this. I call this the perfect recall not only because there are multiple benefits to this singular strategy as you will soon see, but also because it requires a lot of things to align perfectly for the recall to serve its desired functions. If there's a lot of early action in the first 5 minutes, you're probably missing too much CS or expending too much health and mana to be able to stay in lane until the perfect recall timing. Thus you recall with something like 1100 gold at 5 minutes or 700 gold at 4 minutes, respectively, thus you cannot afford your best early components, thus it isn't such a perfect recall anymore. That said, aiming for the perfect recall increases your need for good, consistent last hitting. You're encouraged to improve your CSing skills in other words. That's great! Go into practice tool each day, preferably before you play your first rank game. For 5 or 10 minutes, try to get as much CS as possible. This practice is something that requires discipline, and if you start to slack off with it, your skills will falter a little bit too. On the other hand, if you practice this every day, your CSing ability will be stronger than ever before. The rewards for having really sharp last hitting skills are vast. That's a whole other topic for another day, but for the purposes of this video, just see how it unlocks this possibility of the perfect recall. Now, even without the perfect amount of gold, the perfect recall timing still has value. Think about this common piece of advice when choosing a recall timing. Recall on a cannon wave. This is recommended because if your opponent crashes the wave while you're recalling, the cannon minion will absorb a lot of the tower shots and consequently a lot of the time you spend walking back to lane. You lose less CS and XP as a result as compared to if you were to recall on a regular 6 minion wave. You probably realize already that I'm talking about this because the perfect recall is one that precedes a cannon wave. So yeah, every recall that happens after you push a regular wave and a cannon wave is coming in could be considered a mini perfect recall, but since more benefits align with the 5 minute 8 waves recall that I'm talking about in particular is more perfect. Because here, you recall on the best possible gold while missing the least CS upon return. What could be more perfect? Furthermore, solo laners get level 6 off the first minion of the third cannon wave, aka the ninth wave of the game. After the perfect recall, you come back to collect this ninth wave. Assuming you collected all the experience from all the minions from the past 8 waves, you should ding 6 off the first minion death upon returning to lane. The one constant downside of this perfect recall that I've determined is the fact that the first dragon spawns about 10 or 20 seconds before you start your recall. If the enemy team rushes dragon on spawn, your recall leaves you with no chance of contesting unless you have teleport. Fortunately, I believe this is far from being a big detriment in the current state of the game. The first dragon of the game is rarely hotly contested, since the stats you gain from individual dragons are pitiful and there is no immediate threat of dragon soul being taken. Moreover, the enemy team only has this small 20 or 30 second window to capitalize on your recall before you are the one who becomes advantaged in the dragon fight, since you've gotten a perfect recall with your best early item spike and you've just unlocked your ultimate ability after sapping a single minion's XP once you return to lane. 
Now, there are some variations to the perfect recall. I first want to return to what I was saying about the necessity of getting at least 43 out of 50 minions in the first 8 waves. That's a tall order for most of us. This ask kind of denies you the possibility of roaming or rotating to help your team, because you'll just miss too much CS to have the gold you need for your best early component at the perfect recall timing. So I do recommend using your judgement given the situation. Which is really vague advice, sorry. What I mean by that is that sometimes you should give up CS to help your team, especially if they're making a big investment in an early fight. If you participate in that fight, you may even pick up a kill or assist that would make up for the gold you would have gotten through CSing. So don't lock yourself out of making early map plays just because you feel the need to recall at this perfect timing and need to diligently collect as much CS as possible. The game isn't always that perfect, isn't always going to let you execute such clean game plans. The variance in League of Legends is often much too great a force, so the perfect recall timing is going to have to remain somewhat of a luxury. You can, however, play around this recall to make this luxury more often a reality. Fair warning, it is a fine balance of increasing the possibility of the recall timing being successful and forcing it. You don't want to do the latter. There are a few circumstances that make the execution of the perfect recall timing much easier and much more likely. One of these is when the champions in your lane have a more passive early playstyle and prefer to farm up. Think Orianna vs Azir, Shen vs Orn, Jinx and Janna vs Twitch and Soraka. Nothing should happen in the first 5 minutes of these matchups. That lends itself well to an easy, low pressure lasting environment for you to set up the perfect recall. Another facilitator of this recall timing is to have jungle pressure to help with things like alleviating the enemy's pressure, counter ganking, setting up your eventual recall, and more. Jungle diff can also prevent your lane opponent from getting a good recall timing, which would just increase the difference between your perfect recall and your opponent's subpar recall. Also, it's helpful to play champions that last hit easily. Irelia, Yasuo, and Caitlyn are going to recall with their desired amount of gold much more often than champions like Anivia, Vladimir, and LeBlanc. If you check off all the above conditions, you should be able to pull off the perfect recall timing fairly often, and the benefits you get by item advantage alone can be huge given you know how to push your advantage. BF Sword vs Pickaxe, Lost Chapter vs Blasting Wand. However, having stronger items than your opponent means nothing if you don't use that advantage. But that's a story for another day and speaks more to your fundamental skill set. Here in this video, I've given you what you need to build this item advantage in the first place, which is the first step of the process of pushing your advantage.